photo editing using paint.net to later be used in Scratch. This is a photo of my Uncle Bill and Thomas Edison. My Uncle Bill was not born at the same time as Thomas Edison, but I was able to Photoshop him in this photo. What I would like you to do is find a school appropriate picture where you can take someone's head and put it on someone else's body or take someone and put them in a situation that wouldn't normally happen. I have this picture saved to my Z drive. I opened it in paint.net. You're going to either use the eraser to erase everything that is not me or I can use the lasso. If I use the eraser I can choose which brush width I'm working with. It's defaulted to choose two pixels but if I were to try to erase this by two pixels at a time it would take me a long time. On the opposite end of the picture though if I were to use 500 pixels that would also not look very nice. So you may have to choose something in between um, to erase everything that is not you. Eventually you'll get this checkerboard and that's what you're looking for. Uh, you can zoom in and zoom out and erase everything that is not you. Eventually you'll get a picture that is just your head. You can then use the tools and use the rectangle select to draw a rectangle around your face. Go to edit and copy. I can then save another picture from the internet onto my Z drive and open it in paint.net. I have a second photo saved of Ronald McDonald. I can then take my picture and paste in a new layer. This will bring my picture in that I already did. I'm going to keep the canvas size. I can then adjust the size by clicking on um, the box here and have myself running as Ronald McDonald. If you right click you can also rotate your picture if you would like to do so and get it just so it's just perfect. Uh, when you're finally finished with everything, please save to your Z drive. I'm going to use this picture that's erased. I'm going to save it by saying File, Save As. I'm going to go to Computer, and my Z drive. I have a folder for Photoshop, and I'm going to call it Me. And I'm going to make sure it's saved as a PNG file type. This will pop up. You can just say OK. Um, if you have your completed drawing done, you can save that as well as a PNG, Mrs. Hines Clown. When I hit save, say yes, this will pop up as well. Say OK. Uh, it's important that you save things as PNG file types so the checkered background will not follow you. We'll eventually be using this in the program called Scratch. I need you to make as many characters as possible. Everything must be school appropriate. Must be school appropriate. Please save as often as possible and get as many different characters as you possibly can.